Hey there YouTube, Logan with Hideaway Homestead here coming to you today, catching you at the very end of the day. You can tell from the lighting that uh, we're right at sunset, getting ready to go into dusk. And um, wanted to make a video real quick, talking a little bit more about getting fodder from the roadside basically doing like the gorilla fodder type thing and i've made videos about this before but today is going to be um a little more in depth i guess and i'm going to be talking about some things to look out for and things to do uh first of all so the ones that i got yesterday um i do a handyman business and um, the way the economy's been, that has uh, been slow for a little bit. I'm picking back up on jobs, and I was going to help my uh, brother-in-law do some boat lifts, and uh, I've been doing some DoorDash on the side. Uh, pretty pretty decent money, I mean, for sitting in a car, and uh, I always use it to help with tax advantages on you know when I need to make trips to town. And uh, one of the things I did was when I dropped off a DoorDash, I stopped and uh, cut some of them mulberries. And so, like, you know, here I've got some uh, mimosa. This is just out by the house, you know, stuff growing on the side of the road. Uh, a lot of other stuff that the rabbits can't eat um, or won't eat. But, um, you know, that was a great function stacking deal. It's just when I go to town, I'm driving around on a lot of these streets in town. Um it is a great opportunity to just jump out and do something like that. So the mulberry was growing like into the road. So I'm, you know, doing people a favor there. Um, it was in a safe spot. That's the thing. You want to find something that, you know, would be of help to somebody else. That way, I mean, you're not going and stealing somebody's uh, good tree. You're not going to get on the side of somebody's house and, you know, take their stuff. But... Um, like on roadsides and everything, along fences. Uh, mulberries grow in the town close to us like crazy. They're all over the place. So I can go through town and just, as I'm there, you know, uh, especially if I were to go in the truck, I could really get a load. But go through, just snip them. Um, so the things to look out for when you're doing that is, one, make sure that it's an area that's not getting sprayed sometimes you have issues with that or if there's a lot of like road runoff going to those plants they may not be the healthiest um the other thing to check out for is make sure that it's a place that's safe to stop um you know you wouldn't want to be in a real bad curve where nobody's going to see you and come flying around the corner and um, hit your vehicle or worse hit you and uh, another thing to look out for is, um, you know, the, the sprays, the making sure that it's safe, and making sure that it's um, okay, I guess, to do it there. Like, people, nobody's really going to say anything to you for the most part. Um, but, you know, don't go and do this in an HOA or something like that. You, you will be guaranteed to have problems, but... Um, I can't see you having any issues. I haven't had any doing that. And uh, yeah, you just wanna you just wanna make sure that it kind of meets those three criteria that you're not gonna have anybody that's gonna give you any grief. Cause you know, something like an HOA or if there's any kind of um, uh, Karen's in the area, you know, trying to get you for um, helping people see the, the road. <laughs> then you want to avoid that and you want to avoid anything that sprays runoff um you know dangerous places that's about it that i can think of but it's a great way to take a resource that is not being utilized and utilize it so that's what i've been doing like i said if i go and do them door dashes i don't do door dash all the time but especially if i need to make a run to town um, or if I don't have anything planned 
for that day running and doing that and then getting some free rabbit feed on top of it works out pretty good so yeah anyway that's pretty much it for this video uh if you like the video found any value in it go ahead and leave it a like subscribe to the channel uh leave a comment do all that youtube stuff i appreciate all y'all watching and we'll see you in the next one